Hey guys, for the awesome cast, it's Sorg here with Margie Kerr, and tell us what you're doing here with the scare house. Uh, I analyze data and figure out what scares people, and how to scare them. All right, all right. Well, okay, so you're, so you're going to make me more more scared going through this. Now, I've been a long time you know, coming to scare house for a few years now. We've actually had Scott uh, here uh, uh, on the show before talking about how they get people in the door all year round and social media and everything. Uh, and and, and you're, you're analyzing like what happens when they come out the other side, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. That's so. my favorite thing to do. I, I like to stand by the door and try to talk to everybody who comes out and ask them. <laughs> if they can talk to them. If they can. Okay. Yeah. And ask them how their experience was. It's it's so interesting. Excellent, excellent. Now now you, uh, we did uh, look a little bit through the basement. Yes. Some scary. Like we we weren't even there with the actors, and I'm still a little. You know, it, it reminds me of my basement a little. But yeah, we have uh, every room under surveillance, and all of the actors are trained actors. They've gone through extensive background checks. We go through explicit rules and boundaries about what they can and cannot say um, about the content and. Uh, what we're going for, you know, when we started developing the basement, we um, determined what the goal was, and the goal was to, you know, give people an opportunity to step outside their comfort zone, and in doing so, learn more about themselves. So it's not going for that traditional um, startle scare. It's it's digging a little bit deeper and trying to to get to that next level of what's really going on here. So yeah, that's the, the basement is a, a whole different kind of animal than the main haunts. You know, Creepmost Christmas in 3D, Pittsburgh Zombies and Forsaken are PG-13, you know, kind of uh, um, meant to activate that fight or flight and the startle response and, and get you going. Uh, the basement is more about, you know, pushing your boundaries, getting in your head a little more, being more interactive. I, I know, so we, we talked about this. Yeah. It's very sparse. Yes. It's not about what's around you because I know I know going through the main haunt, uh, I want to stop and look at everything. Right. Like I'm a detail guy, right? I, I want I want to read the signs of the zombie apocalypse, right? Because there, there's some great stuff there's in there. There's some interesting things when you dig deep in there. Yeah. If, if you don't have, if you don't have your wife or girlfriend dragging you through the thing, just take a second, look around, yeah, and, and I think you'll be really surprised. I feel like it, there's enough stuff. I feel like I find something new every time. I, I still do, and I, I go through here, you know almost every day sometimes and uh, I'll find things written on the wall. Mm -hmm. I love our actors. They they write stuff and they're either acting, they're just they're writing things on the walls and I'll go through and just see what they're writing and it's it's it sounds like the monsters are getting ready. Yes, they, they are. <laughs> are cool? we, uh, I, I think you know it's kind of old, but it's kind of cool how you guys are kind of have a bit of technology going. As we look a little bit about, I don't know if people know when they go through a house like this, there are cameras everywhere. We look up, I always see the little the little lights up there because uh, I know what to look for. But you guys have an eye on everybody. You know what's going on. You're never in danger with this. No, uh, this is just this is our security setup. So we have we use Landmark security staff. They do the uh, security for the pirates and the stealers. They're uh, a plus team and. Uh, we have uh, two security staff that are down here at all times. One person monitoring, the other person uh, monitoring out in the in the haunt um, for people you know who, who call the safe word. Mm -hmm. uh, we we have you know our floor plans. Everyone is made aware of where all the emergency exits are, what the emergency protocol is, uh, and we um, are able to respond to situations within seconds uh, if there is a problem. So. Uh, and there, there, there hasn't been. Uh, just we, we get a lot of people calling the safe word uh, that we then have to go retrieve and walk out. But and it's just them kind of getting overwhelmed with it, right? Yeah, they get overwhelmed. They're just like, ah, I can't do it anymore. Uh, it's the the uncertainty <laughs> of the basement is what gets people. Mm -hmm. Now, really. when you're saying the safe word, is just the actors pick it up and they start responding. The, yeah, the actors pick it up and then somebody they have they all have whistles, mm -hmm. so they they alert uh, the security who's you know in the background. A lot of times in the haunt, you know, you're being watched constantly. And people don't know uh, that there are there are eyes behind the walls and they're watching you and they're ready <laughs> and, and I know uh, and I've noticed going around the haunt that I've seen the cameras like yeah. going through so so that's pretty staked out yeah. there yeah so yeah we, so, we take it very seriously so it's kind of hard to get kind of stuck in a corner and nobody finds you oh yeah no I, I would say it's impossible um, mm -hmm. you know the, the only time that, that has happened is after uh, Everybody, we were closed for the night, and uh, the manager was going through turning out the lights, and an actor got stuck in the dark. 
<laughs> so she was like, help, I can't see. So one of the people that already should know yes. what everything is. <laughs> and all our actors are supposed to carry flashlights, so. Um, so like I said, we, we had this going on before, talking about social media, talking about videos. I know I subscribe to the YouTube channel. I oh, love great. seeing the videos that pop up all the time. I, and I, I'm just a fan of really cool video. Yeah. Because yeah. that's something I like to do. Um, and he talked about, like, like again, this happens all year. He talks about yes. the ramp up. You know, like, like here from in February, but not getting, you know, sick of hearing about the scare house. Yeah. Like, early on. Like, can you speak a little bit to that? Yeah, we try to just continually create interesting content. Not even so much just to, I mean, it's just because we want to. There's just so much cool stuff out there that links in with what we like in some way. Even if it's not directly related to, you know, the haunted attraction industry, if we just think it's really cool, we're like, hey, let's, let's do something with it. Let's talk about it. Let's do a video about it. Um, just because it's really um, kind of, we, we just love doing it. We love producing material that people, you know, want to watch. So, all right, we're gonna go take a look at a little bit behind the scenes and seen a couple spots there already, and uh, we'll see how we come out on the other end. All right, single file line. Please make sure that your cameras and cell phones stay in your pockets and keep your hands to yourself. Don't touch anything and nothing. So we just went through the scare house and I gotta say even from them being in here earlier this year they've changed so much and made it even more intense. I think it made it even worse going through a second time this year. Um, the zombies are even crazier than they usually are and that is not a new attraction. That's great. The Delirious 3D is insane and makes me boozy as all hell. Um, we got a great tour. Thanks a lot for Scare House having us come out and seeing a little, little peek at the basement and a little bit of tech that goes on uh, behind the scenes and everything. Um, go check it out, scarehouse.com, and you can find out when it's running, how to get tickets, and all that kind of stuff right here in Aetna, PA, right outside, just like minutes outside of, of Pittsburgh.